All right, guys, what's going on? Hope you're having a good day. So, uh, back with a, another Summer Wells uh, What's On My Mind video. So, without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so, um, what's been on my mind recently in the Summer Wells case? Well, I've been thinking about the 911 call and... Uh, well, I do believe the part where dispatch said that the mother had went for a walk and when she come back, she couldn't find her daughter or little girl, however she put it. That I do believe, okay? Uh, what I don't believe is, um, what I don't believe is the story of Candace walking Summer in the house and telling the boys to watch Summer. And then she disappeared. That I do not believe, okay? So after the video, drop your comments on that and let me know what you think on that, okay? Um, and again, with the 911 call, uh, I'm still wondering what was said on the 911 call, right? Because they've not released it, you know. And, matter of fact, since they haven't released it, uh, let me touch on this. If law enforcement released that phone call to the public, what do you think would be on it? What do you think would be said? How do you think it would be said? Um, who do you think would be on the 911 call? Let me ask you that. And last, if law enforcement released the 911 call to the public, how would Don and Candace react to what we hear. Would it be something that, you know, would it be something very troubling for the public to listen to? Would it be something very troubling for Don and Candace to listen to? Well, Don and Candace pretty much already know what was said. Thing is, do they want the public to hear it? I know the police for some reason don't, and I, I, don't, I don't know what the holdup is in this whole case, guys, but, I mean, I mean, if, if it's not going to go nowhere and they're not going to prosecute anything, do anything, I mean, let, be transparent. Release the 911 call. Uh, give us some more information on... on on the investigation. I mean, if you're not going to prosecute it, at least be transparent with the public on some of it. You know what I mean? That's the way I feel about it. So let me know what your thoughts are on my opinion on that. Uh, last thing I want to touch on is... Um, I wonder if there were any doorbell cameras because, you know, this day and age, everybody's got doorbell cameras. I see them everywhere. I do. Trust me. I see them. Um, my question is, were there any doorbell cameras mounted on these houses in Beach Creek? between 3 p.m. and 6 p.m. on June 15th. And what did they capture? You know what I mean? We've all heard of the red truck. Thing is, if there's some doorbell cameras up and down Beach Creek near Ben Hill Road, and they're facing Beach Creek, and these doorbell cameras do not have a red truck on them, Well, but they do know Candace left and come back, 
right? Were there doorbell cameras facing Beach Creek that captured her maybe going up and down Beach Creek along with the camera supposedly um, at that double wide or house or whatever it is, Blue Roof, Blue Roof Dawn, you know, the house there on the corner, Beach Creek and Ben Hill, you know, people were saying he had a camera. Um, but what if these other houses near near Ben Hill on Beach Creek, uh, what if they had doorbell cameras facing Beach Creek? And the only suspicious vehicle that they seen between 3 and 6 p.m. was maybe Grandis's truck going up and down Beach Creek. Or the Suburban that Don and Candace owned. Because remember, Don had the car. Don had the Subaru, so it shouldn't have been going up and down Beach Creek between 3 and 6. Because if them cameras were pointed at Beach Creek between 3 and 6, maybe they would. But like if Don had come back home and dropped the boys off and then went back to work, they would have caught that. And that's something that police wouldn't say that they have. That that right there, that right there. Like if I was law enforcement and I had a doorbell camera showing Don came home in the in this red Subaru and then left again. Yeah, you bet your damn dollar I'd keep that. That that's like Area Fifty One secret. So. Yeah, so let me know what you think, guys. Let me know what you think about all this. Um, you know, again, I don't, I don't believe that you know Candace walked Summer to the house and told the boys to watch her, and then she disappeared. I don't believe that for one bit. I do believe that she did go for a walk. I do believe that. Not unless, well, I believe that that was told to dispatch. Now, whether she really did go for a walk, I don't know. Maybe that was a lie that somebody told dispatch, you know. Either way, dispatch was told Candace went for a walk. And I do believe somebody did tell dispatch. I do not believe dispatch got it mixed up. There was a communication error. I, I don't believe none of that shit. I believe dispatch got it right. Someone told them, or her, it was a female on, on the dispatch. Someone told her Candace went for a walk. And again, guys, let me know what you think. Do you think Don and Candace would really freak out if the police were to uh, release the 911 calls? Do you think they'd freak out? wonder if we can, uh, I mean, if they're not going to prosecute, right? I mean, if they're just going to, um, I mean, if, if it's just a stagnant investigation and they're not going to do nothing with it, why not release the 911 calls, right? Or do they fear that uh, the public would, it, it, do they fear that it would really anger the public? Do they fear that Don and Candace would freak out if they released a 911 call? Yeah, I'd really like to know what, what how Don and Candace would react if uh, law enforcement released that 911 call. I would love to see their face. I would love to know what's on it. I would love to know who said what, how they said it, all that good stuff. So guys, let me know what you think. Let me know what you think. Appreciate you for tuning in. See you on the next video.